Hey everyone, um, nail polishes that I'm really, really liking um, for like this time of year. Alright, so the first one is actually what I'm wearing right now. It is from Nikake in Midnight Blue. Alright, and um, I'll swatch it. A very nice deep dark blue, very perfect for this time of year. All right, and as I said, I have it on right now, and over that I have on uh, from Wet and Wild, Wild Shine. This is in Sparkle. It looks like that, very very pretty. This goes on good um, over like dark colors, like dark blue, um, deep purples, reds, deep pinks, and stuff like that. It really really complements the color, and it's really nice and festive for this time of year. And I really like it. So, this is how it looks. Alright, and this is how it looks on over that um, midnight blue. Another shade that I'm liking, which is very, very Christmassy, is these two red and this is red and this green. This is not my best red that I've had but um to get the really nice deep dark red shade from this nail polish you have to put about two to three coats on it so this is how it looks with one coat it looks a little pinkish on the white paper and this green or oh, the red is called google girl and this is from sinful colors this is from sinful colors as well and the color is in show me the way perfect um christmas green all right again to get a nice deep green it have a little bit of shimmer in it um yeah have a little shimmer in it and um very nice christmas green to get a nice deep green again you have to put like about two to three coats to get a real dark green if you're looking for that if you want the lighter look like you just saw any swatch one coat and this is steel ethyl from this g2 brand i don't see this too often but i like this what draw me to this is the shape of the buttons are real cute for um like if you want to display your colors is a real nice butter shape to like display on a shelf or whatever as you can see it torn up it's real old i have this for about um a good two years now maybe and this is my go-to shade like when it's getting cold i wear this a lot after this i might put this back on i really like it and um and it's a, uh, it's black, but it has a, it's like a dark green, because it has a lot of shimmer in it. That gives it that kind of nice, interesting look. This is it here. All right, the next shade is a kind of like a nude. Um, and if into nudes again. Sorry for that, you know, I didn't close it properly and, you know, how it goes. So this is from Sinful Colors as well and this is in Vacation Time. Again, this color is Steel Etto if you didn't get that. This one is Vacation Time. It's a pretty nude shade. I like it on my toes more than on my fingers. Don't know why, it just, yeah, it does nothing for me on my fingers. So this is it here vacation time again from sinful colors and another sinful color is this kind of like dirty um brown shade and um show you how it looks a real dirty dark brown and the color is in nirvana and it looks like that and as you know the sinful colors are only like how much two bucks so that's Nirvana right here. Alright, and last but not least is this um this nude kind of neutral pink hair from Wet and Wild. I love these because of the brush. It have another purple that I really like, but I can't find it. I don't think I have it home here. The brush is flat and thick. So the polish goes on quick, easy, and um, you know spreads evenly and thin, so it dries faster. Oh, let me swatch it. 
and this is in sugar coat wet and wild mega last i really like these it's a very nice nude if you're into like dark colors for fall and winter then this is not your thing this is more like for most people maybe a spring color spring summer shade and it's very nude and pretty so that's it there and um that's really it this is the clear that i'm using these days this is from bsn i don't really like it it got thick really fast my mother gave this to me after my i think it's more either wet and wild or new york color clay needle polish i was real good it disappeared and then two days after my mom came and gave me this one real suspect and stuff so i went in her stash to see if she um she had more other clay and she didn't have it so i don't know where that went so basically i use as i said it got thick on me really fast i don't like it so much and i have bought this a while back this is the sally hansen natural nail growth activator and um it's supposed to like about two to one or two times a day you put it around your nails and underneath the nail and you know you massage it in and i just forget to use it and it's supposed to help, you know, your nail grow faster, get stronger and things like that. But just forget to use it. It's not, it doesn't feel nail polishy or anything. It's just like water. And I had it a long time. So hopefully I remember to use this because I really need help with my nails. Um, I really need help with my nails. I mean, I like, I like long nails. I would like if my nail could grow long and stay long. I mean, long nails looks really nice. So, anyway, that is it, and I hope you enjoy this. I probably have some pictures on my blog with the nail polishes and stuff like that. So, thanks for watching. All right, later.